Welcome guys, in this video I am going to show how to build a cancel option for Axios requests. So for this demo I am going to have a file upload option and I am going to provide a cancel option to cancel the file upload. So uh, whenever I upload a file it is uploading to a server and uh, once user clicks on that I am going to cancel the request. That request was uh, actually triggered by the Axios. So uh, I have uh, already made a demo uh, on how to build a file upload with progress bar in uh, Axios and React. So you can go and check the video. So if you upload a video, it will uh, show the upload progress and it will show the uh, progress bar. So if you want to know, I will uh, leave the link for this video in the description. You can go and watch that to build this uh, progress bar. So now it's been uploaded. So you can go and check it in my YouTube channel also. So this is the demo application that I am going to build. So I will show you how uh, this is built in uh, functional component. So I have an input box uh, which is file input and whenever uh, changes this upload of file will uh, trigger and I am using form data to append the file and use Axios request. So for the Axios request I am passing in options which has a on upload progress per callback which provide loaded and total based on that we are calculating the percentage and setting it to state so i am setting it uh, less than 100% because uh, i will wait for the 100% to complete uh, the request so this is how uh, this has been built so now uh, let's go and uh, build the cancel option for this so for the cancel option uh, axios uh, provide uh, functionality to do to do this that is a uh, cancel token whenever we make a request we need to provide a new cancel token for each request and the uh, cancel token will uh, give us the actual cancel function so that should be passed as a option to the axios so i'm adding it to this options object which is cancel token and we create a new instance of the cancel token that we imported from Axios which will provide a function callback which is a token which is actually a function so I'm going to save that for later use that means uh, I'm going to use uh, reacts use ref to store uh, this cancel function So if you want to upload multiple files, you want uh, multiple cancel options, you can manage this as a array of uh, use refs and you need to take uh, respective uh, use refs to cancel it. So use ref with a uh, null option, this is the cancel file upload fun function that we will use it. So now I will assign this cancel uh, function written from the cancel token to the ref. Okay, now uh, we will go and uh, build a function to cancel it. So whenever user clicks on a cancel button, they will be triggered, uh, they, they will call this uh, function and uh, this Axios request will be cancelled. So let's make it cancel upload. And let me check if the token is available, otherwise it may throw error. So we we'll check if cancel file upload dot current is available. If it is available, we'll go and uh, call that as a function because that is a function written from the cancel token class. You can optionally pass the message so that uh, the cancel or uh, the Axios or uh, error uh, block will actually get this message. So you can display it to the user. Now in the catch request of Axios, if you want to know whether this uh, cancel, uh, cancel, uh, request was uh, cancelled by the user, they provide a is cancel function, you can pass this error message and it will tell you whether it is a user cancel message. That means uh, 
whether we manually cancel this request. So you can get the error message that we passed that is user has cancelled the file upload. Now let's go and uh, create a cancel button here. So I'm going to have just a text cancel option. So I'll create a bit with span and all those things. So you can make it as a button or however it suits your uh, user experience. For me, uh, this just uh, span will suffice. Toad cancel. And I'm going to have a conflict callback event which will actually trigger uh, this cancel upload function. And you can go and uh, check uh, the cancel upload. We have once we, this function is triggered, this request will be cancelled. Let's go and check the demo. And for this demo, I'm going to change the network speed so that uh, we can see the file upload for some time. So let me choose a file. Yeah, we are showing seeing a file upload progress and the cancel button and the request is still going on so when I click on cancel this alert pop up comes from the cache block of access request and the request got cancelled and we uh, receive the error message that we passed from the cancel uh, function so let's try it once again and if you see the request is actually cancelled so let me try it with another image it is very fast the image is very less size so that uh, it went very fast. So let's go back and choose some other image. Man, this is very fast. Let me upload a big image. Okay. So now we will we'll be able to cancel it. Cancel and it shows pop up and the actual axios request has been cancelled. The status is cancelled. So this is very easy to implement guys, so you don't need to use any third party plugin for uh, implementing file upload, you can build your own file upload component. Thanks for watching the video, please subscribe for more videos like this.